So maybe to hang get an early two one lead going in, but I guess we'll Slasher, have to see. Would you like to call forth the sounds from the Quake Gods? Come forth, sounds of the Quake Gods. Very nicely done, Slasher. Very nicely done. We've obviously appealed to the gods and they're happy with us. And that means that we can continue. We can go on with the Evil Geniuses Master Cup Series, sponsored by MSI Notebook. Grand Finals, the number one versus the number two seed, a map and a match that many of you guys have probably been waiting the whole weekend to see once again. We're going to see these two great players battle it out and uh, let them know. Uh, go ahead. Get your tweets ready. That's Tweet right. Tweet final right now. Come on, everyone watching this. Tweety tweet, tweet tweet Steen as uh, they're going to alt tab back into their games. And we're going to get underway. It's time for the grand finals of Rafa versus DeHang. Rafa hailing from SK Gaming. DeHang hailing from Evil Geniuses. And he will ready up. We're just waiting for Rafa. And then uh, we will be officially underway. Once again, the map rotation T7, DM6, T9, ZTN, and DM13. Slasher. We didn't have live on three today, but we certainly went live on three on plenty of games, and we're going to do it one last time here for the grand finals and then for the notebook finals. So take us away. Uh, Rafa taking that mega and uh, not taking the other yellow, waiting for it, and actually still not getting it. Uh, the hang with that red uh, and the armor pickup. Now Rafa's finally going to take that yellow. So Rafa delaying that yellow pickup till now. Uh, see if the hang's gonna try to catch him into that corner before going for the red. Uh, misses that rail as Raph is going up the stairs. Uh, but the hang should have enough time to get back towards this other mega before it spawns. Only 30 seconds, 40 seconds has elapsed, and I would expect that we're gonna see a lot of these games carry this 0 0 score for a while because neither player is going to be adamant about trying to tag that first frag. They're going to wait for an opportunity in which is most beneficial to them. And you might say, well, DJ, that's a very like easy thing to say. Like, of course, that's what they would do. But you really have to understand that Rafa and DeHang have this, have this understanding about one another's play. They both know that the other has defeated them before, and they know that this is not necessarily a game where they can just, you know, play nonchalantly and casually and expect to win. They're going to constantly be having to make those fantastic shots and be making the right decisions if they indeed want to not only take that first frag, but hold the leads that will, that will win them games and get them victories. So, so far, 0-0, zero, zero, and we're only 90 seconds into game one. Yeah, both a uh, slow game for both players to hang, you know, with the stack so far. He's... Uh, he's the one that's going to try to rush in and get that frag. Both players missing rails there. And that LG corridor to hang just waiting up above uh, for that red. going to try to play it safe. Ooh, barely misses the rail before jumping down to get that red armor. Uh, Rafa even shooting a rocket into the wall himself. Rafa dropping down. Getting that yellow, though. He's in the red area. The hang trying to see where he is. Might get a spam. Uh, Rafa, you know, not going to that rocket. It's going to allow the hang to continue that mega. Uh, control. So the hang with control of both major items right now, but Rafa playing very smart, not letting the hang get too close to him. Yeah, I think you're 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 right. I think Rafa's just really trying to keep that distance, and the me or the red armor is up. It was grabbed by the hang. Uh, ironically enough, even though Rafa may not have been in complete control of, of some of the power ups, he's still rocking a pretty good health and armor now. Dang does tag him with the rail, and that's going to put him down to 100, 118. And we're going to have a mega battle here pretty soon. And it looks like Rafa is going to have to concede to that one and give it up. So DeHang not only got the last red, but also that Mega DeHang runs in, grabs yet another red, and look at the amount of damage that Rafa did right there, sending DeHang down to 76-66. However, he still came out better in that fight, a long distance rail from Rafa, and now DeHang is at 49-13, and this could be that smell of blood for Rafa. If he was gonna move in, now would be a great time to go after DeHang. Yeah, that Mega's not up yet. Rafa's going to wait for that red and go straight towards Mega. And DeHang actually going to play it very smart. Uh, let Rafa take that Mega while DeHang goes over and takes the back yellow. He also sees Rafa go through that teleporter and he's able to know his position while he runs back. Uh, Rafa not able to find him yet. He might find him now. 
the hang with some defensive rockets. Uh, he uh, he also doesn't know that the time for the back end yellow. So uh, he's going to be able to take that red. But now the hang has enough armor to play defensive here as Rafa controls the items. Yes, yeah, surprisingly, Rafa just able to maintain almost 150, 150 all the time. I mean, right now he's at 137, 179. But the important thing to him is that he's got this mentality of like, I will always be stacked and I will not be taken by surprise. Now here's an opportunity to hang with some great LG, a couple of bounce rockets, and the red armor is up, it's stolen away. He tries to peek a rail shot, a second one, both of them miss. And Rafa will give up his entire armor advantage uh, to DeHang in that one. And actually DeHang is sitting in a good position to possibly corner Rafa and get this first frag. Yeah, now he's in position to get that red. <laughs> Shooting those grenades uh, in that hallway, not hitting any, but pushing away uh, Rafa from that red. But Rafa's gonna take the Mega, so another split in the major power-ups. Uh, DeHang with a little bit of a health disadvantage, but able to get that 50. So now he's ready to make a push on Rafa here. Oh, and he gets one nice rocket right onto Rafa. It's going to take away all of his armor. If he's going to attack, it would be right now. Hit the second one. We could see the first frag now from the hang. If he can hit him, uh, does not catch Rafa chasing out him to that red. He's going to give the hang oh. that red. It does hit a flying rail to get that yellow. We'll see if uh, the hang can get the frag here uh, while that mega's up. And he cannot. Um, Mega will be grabbed again. And so we continue 0 0, 4 minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Some great rails coming out there. Great display of skills that we're seeing from both players. And with 4 minutes and 42 seconds on the clock, it's still anyone's game. But right now, DeHang does have control. Let's switch over to him. He's at 143, 197 right now. And he has basically switched roles. He filled. Rafa's shoes right there. A great rail as he peeks around the corner, trying to come with a follow-up. Instead, he pulls out his LG. I hear Rafa screaming, and that could be it. First frag will go to DeHang with four minutes and 20 seconds left in game number one. The Rafa with a good sack. I mean, DeHang with a good sack. Going to try to beast in on this rag and does pushes Rafa <laughs> away from that red. Uh, going to do a lot of damage. Rafa has no ammo, no weapons. Uh, it's going to allow DeHang to get that yellow and that rail as well and have enough time to probably get this other yellow. It does. He has to bait Rafa into the yellow. Does get one rail, misses the next two. Uh, so Rafa does lose health there. Even though he picked up that, that yellow, he did take that rail. So it's a 30 damage difference here. Uh, DeHang out of uh, LG cells, though. So we'll see if Rafa tries to push in. He doesn't. Uh, DeHang able to pick up that red. We're going to see if they go with the Mega. Rafa able to sneak in in that Mega. Uh, DeHang with some LG damage, but misses the rail. So decently even fights here as they go for this next red. Yeah, I mean, decently even might be an understatement. A lot of these guys, uh, when they walk away, they're, they're almost back to, you know, back to basics, and they just build it back up and do it all over again. But every single battle, they, well, with the exception of the two frags that DeHang got, 